Welcome to this demonstration of how the vCloud Director Tenant Portal can be used to manage an organization. An organization is a logical security boundary and represents a tenant. The organization that has been created by the service provider contains users, virtual data centers and networks that are used to create and deliver IT resources for self-service consumption. Multiple organizations or tenants can coexist securely and isolated from each other, sharing one vCloud Director platform. An organization consists of granular roles and access mechanisms and is accessed by way of a unique URL to the vCloud Director tenant portal. As we have said before, the organization is created by the service provider. After the service provider has delivered an organization admin user account, and the proper URL, different operational tasks can be fulfilled within the vCloud Director tenant portal. A tenant user can log on to the vCloud Director tenant portal using the proper URL and a user account with organization admin privileges. In the top right corner, we see that we have logged in with the organization administrator role. To manage the organization settings, navigate to the Administration section. Here, you can manage users and roles under Access Control, add identity providers and change general settings, set email notifications, download metadata, or view policies. This video is going to focus on the organization's general settings. We have another video that demonstrates user and groups settings and one where we explain how to integrate with an organization's identity provider solution like VMware's Identity Manager for example. Within the general settings, an organization admin can extract core information like the organization name, the default organization URL, and the organization description. The only items you can change here are the organization's full name and description. Click the Edit button and change the values. The current email settings are inherited by the configuration the service provider made. VCloud Director can send alert emails with important information, such as when the data store is running out of space, for example. You can modify the email settings at the organization level. For example, if you want vCloud Director to send alerts for that organization to a different set of email addresses than those specified by the service provider. To change the sender's email SMTP settings, Click Edit and enable Use Custom SMTP Server. If the notification settings need to be changed, for example if an organization wants to use notifications to send an email to their IT ticketing system, you can navigate to the Notification Settings tab and enable Use Custom Notification Settings. Specify the sender's email address provide an email subject prefix and define to whom those notifications email should be sent to. You can test the email settings specified by clicking Test. Provide the destination email address and when the mail server requires authentication, the password of the SMTP user. Once the test email has been sent, check your inbox to verify that the email has indeed been sent. To specify tenant-specific Active Directory information, select Guest Personalization from the left menu. Virtual machines that are based on Windows and that are created by a vCloud Director tenant user can either be joined to an Active Directory domain via in-guest mechanisms or through vCloud Director customizations. To define a global policy within a tenant, 
Click Edit and enable Domain Join for Virtual Machines in this organization. Insert the parameters for the Active Directory domain name and insert an Active Directory username and password that has the proper privileges to fulfill a domain join. Optionally, an organizational unit can be specified where the machine objects should be stored within an Active Directory. vCloud Director provides a general purpose facility for associating user defined metadata with an object. Object metadata gives service providers and tenants a flexible way to associate user defined properties in name and value pairs with objects. In the context of the organization, the metadata can include information that might be relevant for the integration of third-party systems, for example regional information. Click Edit to view or change the current metadata. For this organization, we have created two sets of metadata. The owner, the department that is responsible for maintaining the organization in vCloud Director, and the other one is region that is used for third-party IT services or systems in the organization. Now, let's add another metadata entry. In this case, it will contain the email address of the tenant's infrastructure team to enable any third-party system to query the API and extract and use this metadata for this organization. The vCloud Director multi-site feature enables tenants to manage and monitor multiple organizations as single entities. In the vCloud Director tenant portal, organization administrators can connect organizations at associated sites. After the service provider has associated two sites, an association between the organizations is required. To create an association between two organizations, you must be an organization administrator for both organizations so that you can log in to each organization, retrieve its local association data and submit the retrieved data to the other organization. In this demonstration of the multi-site feature, we have logged in on the one side as the organization administrators for an US entity of the company and on the right side, we have logged in as the organization administrator of the European part of the company. First of all, we need to export the local association data from the US entity and save the XML file to the local computer. Then, on the EU entity, we click Create a new organization association. We then copy the XML data from the downloaded file of the US entity and paste it into the new association XML text area on the EU side. Click Next and Submit to start the pairing process. Now, in the EU entity, the US entity has been associated from the one side and its status is asymmetric. Now we have to do the same process on the US side as well. But first, we need to export the local association data this time on the EU side. We save the XML file to the local computer, switch to the vCloud Director tenant portal of the US entity and click Create New Organization Association here as well. We paste the XML data and verify that the organization name matches the organization we want to create this association to and click Submit. After a few seconds, the status of both sides will switch to active, enabling the organization administrator to have a single holistic view into both organizations, no matter of the geographical location. Last but not least, let's talk about policies. Creating an organization involves having to specify leases. Leases provide a level of control over an organization's storage and compute resources by specifying the maximum amount of time that vApps can be running and that vApps and vApp templates can be stored. The goal of a runtime lease is to prevent inactive vApps from consuming compute resources. For example, if a user starts a vApp and goes on a vacation without stopping it, the vApp continues to consume resources. A runtime lease begins when a user starts a vApp. When a runtime lease expires, vCloud Director stops the vApp. 
You can review and modify the default policies that were set by the system administrator when your organization was created. This concludes this demonstration of how an organization can be managed from within the vCloud Director Tenant Portal. Thanks for watching.